Welcome everyone and thanks for joining us today. I'm Lorna Schumann with the Illinois State Museum. You know, objects really help us open a doorway to the past. And today we're going to explore one of those doorways, a doorway of a young immigrant who came escaping violence to the United States and brought with her not only some pieces of her past, but also some skills that helped unite and keep her family together. So to do that today, I have Erica Holst, our curator of history with us, and she's going to help us understand a little bit more about these pieces before us. Erica? Thank you so much, Lorna. Yes, so today we are looking at textiles that were made by a woman named Estanislo Goff. And Estanislo was born in 1886 in Pueblo, Mexico. As a young woman, she worked at, as a housekeeper at a cattle ranch that was owned by an American family. The American owner's son, Dean, was the manager of that ranch, and they fell in love. So Estanislo and Dean were married, and they continued to live on the ranch together very happily for many years. This is where they built their family, and their family eventually grew to include five children. In 1918, unforeseen circumstances threatened the safety of their family. A Mexican revolutionary named Pancho Villa had by that time turned into sort of a guerrilla activist on behalf of Mexican independence. And he was very strongly against foreigners in Mexico. And this included Dean and their five half American children. So all of a sudden with Pancho Villa and his troops um, roaming the countryside, the Goff family was no longer safe at their ranch. They were um, threatened with violence at any time should they be discovered. So what they needed to do was flee Mexico. They went to Mexico City where they were issued an emergency passport. And this is the passport photo of Estanislo and her five children. And they were given passage on a train to Elgin, Illinois. Now this is probably not something that the family wanted to do. They had built themselves a thriving life in Mexico, but it's something that they had to do to keep everyone together and to keep everyone safe from the threat of violence. So they settled in Elgin, Illinois, and um, Dean's parents were not exactly thrilled with their son's choice of a wife. So Estanislo faced the uphill um, task of acclimating to a new country, a new language, a new place that wasn't familiar to her. And one of the ways that she built a safe and familiar world for herself and her family was through the textiles that she made by hand. One of them she had brought with her, and that's this baby bonnet. She had crocheted this for the birth of her first child, and all five children born in Mexico wore this at their baptisms in the local Catholic church. It's one of the things that she brought with her when she fled Mexico, and when a sixth child was born to her in Elgin, that child also wore this bonnet for its baptism. So in this way, this small piece of textile handcrafted by a mother's hands with love is a bridge that links a past tradition to building a new tradition and continuing that uh, trend of family and religion and traditions in a new country. Estanislo went to work to support her family, and some of the work she did was in a uh, shirt-making factory as a needleworker. But although she did kind of utility stitches on her job for pay, at home she let her creative side express itself through the textiles that she made in her spare time. So she used the bright colors and flamboyant patterns that were familiar to her from what she had learned growing up. And in this way she found creative expression, and she was also able to recreate create the um, needleworking traditions of her home to help make her new life and world in Illinois more familiar to her. Erica, thank you so much. You really help us understand a little bit of how those pieces that you have in one country can help connect you to a new country and you can continue those traditions that you have. And that's all represented here in these objects. So thank you very much. Thanks, Lorna. And thank you so much for joining us.